All right, guys, breaking news. Diane Feinstein just submitted the assault weapons ban. Sit by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets. You're going to want to know more. Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your premier source for Second Amendment news. Well, we were all focused on H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446 and the voting that took place today. Dianne Feinstein has submitted her long-awaited assault weapons ban of 2021. I'll read you a couple quick quotes, tell you who's already co-sponsoring this, and then I'll have the link down below so you can read this bill by yourself. It's kind of the same one that we've had year after year from her, uh, but I'm going to put this on the screen here. Senator Dianne Feinstein and Congressman David Cicilline uh, today introduced the assault weapons ban, an updated bill to ban the sale, transfer, manufacture, and importation of military-style assault weapons and high-capacity ammunition magazines like were used in the massacre in Dayton, Ohio, where the shooter had a 100-round magazine attached to an assault rifle. It's been 17 years since the assault weapon ban expired, and the plague of gun violence continues to grow in this country, said Old Die Fi. To be clear, this bill saves lives. When it was in place from 94 to 04, gun massacres declined by 37% compared with the decade before. After the ban expired, the number of massacres rose by 183%. We're now seeing a rise in domestic terrorism, and military-style assault weapons are increasingly becoming the guns of choice for these dangerous groups. I am hopeful that with the new administration and democratic control of the Senate, we can finally pass common-sense gun reforms and remove these deadly weapons from our communities. And Congressman Cicilline jumped in too. He said, Assault weapons are designed for a single purpose, to kill as many people as possible in as short an amount of time as possible. That's why they are the weapon of choice for mass shooters and domestic terrorists. They are weapons of war and do not belong in our communities. I'll challenge you, Congressman Bobo, to tell me what war was fought with an AR-15. The answer is zero, none. Banning these weapons will make our cities and towns safer and more secure and help to reduce gun deaths. Now on the screen are the 34 senators who have already co-sponsored this bill. Doesn't have a number yet, it was just introduced today. Uh, but we have a couple more quotes. Senator Murphy from uh, Connecticut, he said, military style assault weapons were designed to kill as many people as quickly as possible, period. There is no reason why these weapons should be sold to the public. President other than shall not be infringed. Uh, Pe President Biden ran on passing common sense legislation to end the gun violence epidemic. The data is clear. An assault weapons ban will save lives. I'm proud to join Senator Feinstein in reintroducing this critical legislation. And not to be outdone, his uh, compadre in the Senate in Connecticut, Senator Blumenthal, said this. What do Las Vegas, Orlando, Newtown, Sutherland Springs, El Paso, and Parkland all have in common? These communities are a tragic shorthand for some of the deadliest mass shootings in our nation's history, all of which involved an assault weapon. Assault weapons and high-capacity magazines are deadly and dangerous weapons of war that belong on battlefields, not our streets. They have no purpose for self-defense or hunting, and no business being in our schools, churches, and malls. By passing this legislation, Congress can honor the memory of the beautiful lives cut short by military-style assault weapons in far too many American cities. Well, Bobo, you don't get to tell me what I get to use to defend my family. You're a clown. So this is the first page of the bill. Like I said, the link will be down below for you to read, but some of the key things it's looking to do, it's going to ban the sale, the manufacture, the transfer, and importation of 205 different mil quote-unquote military-style assault weapons by specific name. And there's a grandfather period, so you get to keep your existing weapons. They're going to throw you that bone. It would also ban any assault weapon with the capacity to utilize a magazine that is not a fixed ammunition magazine and has one or more military characteristics to include a pistol grip, a forward grip, a barrel shroud, a threaded barrel, or a folding or telescoping, telescoping stock. And you can keep your existing ones, of course. That's pretty much every military-style weapon that, that's out there. Of course, they're going to ban magazines and, un and any other ammunition feeding devices that hold more than 10 rounds. 
It would require a background check on any future sales, any future trades, or any future gifting of an assault weapon covered by the bill. It would also require that grandfathered assault weapons are stored using a secure gun storage or a safety device like a trigger lock. It would prohibit the transfer of high-capacity ammunition magazines, and it would look to ban bump fire stocks and other devices that allow semi-automatic weapons to fire at fully automatic rates. Now, they do have some bones in there. Like I said, it's, it's grandfather clause. You can keep what you have. We're not coming after your guns. Just everything in the future. Also, it exempts 2,200 different guns for uh, for uh, hunting and household defense and recreational shooting. So we're being good gods for you peasants and peons. Like I said, link is down below. I just wanted everybody to know real quick that Diane Feinstein's assault weapon ban of 2021 has been uh, has been submitted. Uh, the rough draft link is down below. You can read that. It doesn't have a number as I'm recording this. Uh, but it already has big support. Mark my words, the same thing that they did today for H.R. 8 and 1446 will be done for this bill as well. And I will keep you posted every step of the way. Subscribe to Guns and Gadgets if you haven't already. This is the, the premier source for Second Amendment news. No matter where it happens, you'll find it here. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. See you on the next one. Take care.